so this next topic, we're going to cover both synthetic equity and sort of traditional equity incentives, you know, and these play really an important role of, of filling out sort of the, the, the total compensation spectrum. And as uh, Dave alluded to earlier, these would fall sort of in that midterm sort of time horizon, that three to 10 years. You, you want to make these incentives achievable and realistic. So you don't want to have something that's really far out that, you know, someone that does have these sort of loses interest or you don't want to make them too short to where they can't accrue enough value and it doesn't it doesn't provide sort of that lucrative opportunity for the holders of that security or that that unit or whatever whatever incentive that you are offering and so you know the biggest proponents of, of these types of programs is really to attract retain and motivate your key players uh, you know this these are it's a competitive workplace and labor environment you know we talk to a lot of companies you know over 300 a year just for valuation purposes and i can tell you most of them always talk about labor challenges finding good people holding on to good people and these are are, are really nice ways for private companies to compete with maybe larger companies that do have maybe publicly traded shares or, or things of that nature so you can provide that equity or equity like incentive at your company for your key individuals. The other big thing is that it aligns sort of the, the management team and the shareholders. You know, these incentives are only typically lucrative if the company grows, which is that's what the shareholder group wants to, to achieve. And so by having these instruments, you're, you're, tr you're trying to drive or change behavior at the senior level. And so it just becomes, again, an important alignment between those two groups. With the synthetic equity piece, you know, you may want to avoid real dilution because if you're using real equity incentives, uh, you may be giving out restricted shares that are, are real shares and those individuals that have them have voting rights. You know, if you want to avoid sort of that real dilution, synthetic equity incentives may be a, a smart play. And there's also other, you know, legal reasons you want to maintain control of your company and not issue a lot of shares. And so things with options or SARS may uh, check the boxes for, for some of those other reasons as well.